In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to obtain isolated colonies for coning using what's called the spin plate method. So as part of our dilution lab, we made a serial dilution of some E. coli, and we're going to put a tenth of a mil from each of the last three dilution tubes, our three most dilute tubes, onto separate plates of tryptocase soy auger, and then we're going to spread those out with a bent glass rod so that they get evenly distributed over the whole plate and we get isolated colonies after incubation that we can count. And now we're ready to remove a tenth of a mil of the bacteria from our dilution tube and put that onto a plate of tryptocase soy auger. We of course do this aseptically so we would remove the cap, flame the tube, we're going to take out a tenth of mil of the bacteria, so I'm going to draw it up to 0.8 and let it drop down to 0.9. Flame the tube, replace the cap, and now we're ready to put the bacteria on the Petri plate. So to do that, we do have to remove the lid. We want to have good control over the pipette. We're going to dispense that tenth of a mil in the center of the plate. So watching carefully, Drop the tenth of a mil of bacteria onto the plate. And there is our one tenth of a mil. It's about three drops. Any bacteria that's left in the tube and the pipette, we're going to put back in the tube that it came from. And now we're going to be ready to spread the bacteria out. Now, as I mentioned, to do this, we're going to use a bent glass rod, but of course, the glass rod is contaminated since it's been sitting on the bench top. So what we're going to do to sterilize it is not use the back to incinerator because that would heat the glass and glass holds the heat and that would kill the bacteria if we tried to spread them. So what we do in this case is we burn off bacteria. We dip it in some ethyl alcohol then we remove that far from the alcohol. We take a candle lighter, use that to catch the alcohol on fire and let it burn off. And that burns off the bacteria without heating the glass. Now, once that has gone out, we're ready to spread out the bacteria. Once again, we do have to remove the lid. We're gonna set this flat on the auger surface. And then we're gonna start spinning the turntable for maybe 10 to 15 seconds. after which time the bacteria are spread out pretty well. We're going to put the cap back on the Petri plate, and then that can be incubated. And of course, we still have a lot of bacteria still clinging to the glass, so we need to re-sterilize the rod by dipping it in alcohol, moving it far away from the alcohol, catching the alcohol on fire, letting it burn off. Be very careful while you're doing this that you don't hold the bent glass rod with the burning alcohol over the alcohol or burning alcohol may drop down and catch the alcohol on fire, in which case we'll smother it. But again, avoid that occurring. And that's basically it.